राम जिनका नाम है अयोध्या जिनका धाम है राम जिनका नाम है अयोध्या जिनका धाम है ऐसे धनुर्धारी को हमारा ही प्रणाम है ऐसे धनुर्धारी को हमारा भी प्रणाम है विष्ण जिनका नाम है मथुरा जिनका धाम है कृष्ण जिनका नाम है मथुरा जिनका धाम है ऐसे मुरली बजैया को हमारा भी प्रणाम है ऐसे मुरली बजैया को हमारा भी प्रणाम है शंकर जिनका नाम है कैलाश जिनका धाम है शंकर जिनका नाम है कैलाश जिनका धाम है ऐसे डमरु बजैया को हमारा भी प्रणाम है ऐसे डमरु बजैया को हमारा भी प्रणाम है विष्णु जिनका नाम है क्षीर सागर धाम है विष्णु जिनका नाम है क्षीर सागर धाम है ऐसे चक्रधारी को हमारा भी प्रणाम है ऐसे चक्रधारी को हमारा भी प्रणाम है काली जिनका नाम है कलकत्ता जिनका धाम है काली जिनका नाम है कलकत्ता जिनका धाम है ऐसे खप्पर वाली को हमारा भी प्रणाम है ऐसे खप्पर वाली को हमारा भी प्रणाम है राम जिनका नाम है अयोध्या जिनका धाम है ऐसे धनुर्धारी को हमारा भी प्रणाम है ऐसे धनुर्धारी को हमारा भी प्रणाम है हरिओम हरिओम गुड सहना सहन सह वीर प्रभावी तेजस्वी नवदी तम सुमा विषा वह हरि ओम गुरुपूर्ण हरि ओम गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुरेव परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव वसुदेवसुत देव कम सचाद्दन देवकी परमानंदम विष्णु वंदे जगदुरु समस्त जन कल्याणे विरतम करुणामयम 
Are you, are you able to hear me properly? Tardama. Yes, Uncle. Yes, Uncle. Quite clear. You, you can all hear. Good. Yes, Uncle. Clearly. The entire essence of Vedanta. First, what is the word Vedanta? Veda, knowledge. Anta, end, end of knowledge. That means end purpose of life because in life, continuously we are acting. Action needs knowledge. It's very surprising because I have experience in my bathroom. Some insects will be there, small things. This itikal puchi, flies and all that. Uh, cockroaches. In spite of the fact, extremely well maintained and well protected with so many things. In spite of that, somehow, they escape through several channels and they come. Only thing is, if you are not done, there will be many. If you are done, there is one. Right? I try to put a kerchief on them and try to throw them out of the window. I don't kill them. But they know you, you are going to do that. They run away. Who taught them? That what I will do makes them die. Who taught them? They, they would have never seen death because their life itself is short. Who taught them? Small uh, things, you know, coughs. You show grass, it comes to you. You show stick, it runs away. Who, who taught? Child. Few days child, three reactions. You smile, it smiles. You frown, it cries. You frown just to threaten that for fun. It knows what it is. Right? Who taught all this? Who taught? So that is life based on knowledge. That is life, based on knowledge. But all our knowledge, right now, can only give us finite results. Finite results. The best of finite results, the best of finite results becomes the seed for your future sorrow. The best. Maybe you know you, you are comfortable, you are not thought about it. Or uh, managing sorrows, managing insecurity has become natural to you now. That's all. Managing them has become natural to you. So, this knowledge is the basis of action and life is activity. 
So your life depends naturally on actions. Your life naturally depends on actions. So what is that knowledge which gives me fulfillment, not peace me? What is that knowledge? This is the question. on which everything else is known. Just don't carry it away by Sanskrit words and mantras. Try to understand. What shall our knowledge give to us? Food. For what? Security. Freedom from death. Our knowledge is giving us comforts. Right? Our knowledge is giving us power. Our, all of our knowledge, these are things they give. Money. Again, money is not an end, it's a means. Power is not an end, it's a means. Right? This is what all our knowledge is giving. Right? And one solution leads to another problem. Everybody thought child is born, now we are happy, sweets are distributed, right? Immediately next day, because child birth, it's not a big disease, but it follows with a type of jaundice, child, children birth, right? So you are immediately worried. After a few days, it's settled. Then you have to register in a play school and Chimya Vidyalaya, both together. Right? The moment child is born. So you thought you are free when the child is born. No, your bond day starts then. After Chimya Vidyalaya, now 40 mothers want all the 40 children to get, come first in the class. Everybody wants their child to be first. Impractical. And not what, what, what are you doing? You are taking away the best part of their life, filling it up with total pressure. Do you mean to say the children should not study and come up? Yes, they can. But you did not do that way. You can make them enjoy their studies itself. You can make them enjoy whatever they are doing. Right? So, the, after that, choice, commerce or science, medical engineering, chartered accountancy. Right? So you have done, then need, right? Need. After that, somehow get into college. Okay, you pass. Let me not go into various unnecessary. You passed, you got a good job. Is that the end? Your father felt incomplete. He got married, he felt incomplete, he got a child, that didn't solve, you, the child, become now fit for marriage. Where is it ending? The circle. Where is it ending? And all this depends on knowledge. All this depends on knowledge. So life is complete trying to externalize your knowledge in the form of activity. So, 
something thought about it and said, this is endless. God has not been so unintelligent that he created a world like this where continuous struggle. And as uh, Einstein said, God doesn't play dice. Right? God doesn't play dice. So he couldn't have been so unintelligent. So he starts thinking and sees a few people who, irrespective of their experiences, their situations, their possessions, are composed and happy. So he goes to one of them and says, Sir, I have seen this life to an extent physically, greater extent I visualized. This is not worth it. Is there no other purpose? So that to ask, because he's going to be the right teacher, he puts it in this way. Is what is that having known which? There is nothing more to be known. That means having got with nothing more to be gained. Whatever having got it, you have nothing more to gain. Then the teacher depending upon the student. This student is straight away gives the knowledge because uh, unless this student is intelligent, he won't ask this question. Right? So he straight away gives the knowledge and the student, because he's bright, he gains it. Within a few minutes, he becomes what? He has held within a few minutes, right? The difference between the seeker and what he is seeking ends. He's, he discovers, I am what I am seeking. I am what I am seeking. You see, people different words only I can use. I am not interested. When anybody comes to class, that day they should get some clue for their life. I'm not interested in variety. So he gets immediately because the teacher points out, points out that your whole problem is your understanding, yourself to be what you are not. Yourself to be what you are not. All that you think you are are your objects. Your body is your object, your mind is your object, your intellect is your object, the world is your object, and all of them have limitations. The one, you, who are observing them, you have none of the limitations. Have none of the limitations. This you, when you sleep, when these distinctions are not there, is blissful. And the students, as he says, detaches from the BMI and feels he's different. So he got the knowledge. As the teacher says, you are different from the BMI, he detaches and he gets the knowledge. This is the first time. Many others cannot gain this. Because while they are listening, their minds are preoccupied with several things, even while they are listening. So they can't get it straight. They can't get it straight. But our scriptures do not neglect even the last category. He who 
merely believes in superstition, he, him also they encourage. Mere superstition also they encourage. Right? So that way, they have different paths. Majority of us, including the spiritual seekers, majority of us, including the spiritual seekers, depend on God for our security and happiness. Because they have analyzed the world. It doesn't have it. You cannot get it from it. So there is only possibility what they have heard about God. He can do. He need not do. He can do it otherwise. Kartum, akartum, anida akartum. Right? He can do. So they start worshipping him. Doing pujas. Praying to him. For what? For Artha. For their material needs. Bhagavan says nothing wrong. In seventh chapter he says there is nothing wrong. And some people want to know. Everybody says Gita, 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 Gita. I also should have learned. Understand? When Gurudev started in the uh, 70s, 65-70s, because at that time I was in touch with all that circle. At that time I was all in that circle. 6.30 talk, 5.30, even if they are in the club, with pride. Till then they were not, uh, you know, so sure to tell they are going to a Gita class. Gurudev gave them the pride and they used to say in the clubs, posh clubs, oh, it's time I am going to, I had to go to the guitar talks. Chin man and the talks. That has become the style. So these are called Jignasu. That is, first is called Artha. Jignasu, wanting to know what it is. Bhagavan says beautiful. Because they don't want to know, you know, all sorts of useless things. They want to know about me. So good. Money also, they are not going for several ways. They are depending on me. Good. Because they made, they have taken the first step to believe in me. They have taken the first step to believe in me. Then of course when you are in distress. Distress only God. Distress only God. Draupadi, Gajendra, Right? Endless examples. In distress, only God. Bhagavan says they are the best out of the three. The lost, they are not even the best because they are me. Nani. These are the four types of devotees. Now, the first three depend on God. What God? God, this concept of God, Krishna, Rama, Parvati, Shiva, all came a few thousand years before. Vyasa, and maybe Valmiki with, with Ramayana. Right? Before that, we didn't have these gods. But God was there. What was God? The cosmic forces. The cosmic forces. Sun, rain god, Varuna. These gods were there. So that is what they used to worship. Right? The principle is the same. They cannot visualize straight away. The formless, nameless God, what the teacher told for the student in Mundaku Upanishad or in uh, this now, Aham Brahmasmi, Chandu Upanishad, Tato Masi, the student cannot understand. So for them, 
you can't leave them also god so for them they have to make them tune to that god gain what they want elevate from that level this is called upasana so the gods in those days upasanas where i told you rain varuna bhagavan and all that in here he takes hiranyagarbha prajapati because that's the concept of us you know the god is creator sustainer and destroyer right creator sustainer and destroyer hiranyagarbha prajapati and that he says try to invoke how to invoke it's a vague concept i tell you what is hiranyagarbha he says total mind and intellect total mind and intellect what is the mind that which projects duality how did you dream you were you slept and you were only one in your dream multiple world where from it came in sleep it doesn't come it comes in dream what is the difference mind projects them mind projects them so the multiple world projection is by each individual mind total world is the total mind total world is total mind he is called hiranyagarbha prajapati so that is given concept for them to meditate in a particular location eka deshastha it's a technical word they use eka deshastha eka sharire that is the ashramada upasana then fire god visible god all these concepts are from saguna to nirguna because straight away you cannot go to nirguna saguna to nirguna in our days vyasa has made it simple krishna rama and all that in those days prajapati ashrama ashwa and then fire god and then prana because you can feel it why also you can feel it prajapati pai vayu then he says all these hiranyagarbha prajapati vayu they are all in you you visualize them in you we do it in no anganyasam karanyasam all of them you see them in you purusha vidaha sahasra shirsha purusha sahasra cha sahasra pa okay so that way the upasanas are, are, are given to us but what is the beauty of brudaranika it's got an a, extraordinary technique in all of them in fact katopanishad this is what nachiketa sas as a second rule he says majority of the people cannot understand this nirguna upasana but they also need peace you can't ignore anybody so yamadharma raja what suits majority that particular technique you give me that was called nachiketas fire nachiketa agni that was the same as hiranagarbha that was the same as agni upasana vaishwanara that is the same as prana uddita all that is the same as katopanishad what he asked them that is for the majority of the people saguna upasana from saguna upasana you go to nirguna upasana this is recommended in all our shastras 12 chapter says that reshodika rastesham is difficult nirguna upasana saguna no person will automatically lead you there it becomes comfortable why do you struggle you know of all the people 
ದಿ ಚಾಂಪಿಯನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಶ್ರೀ ಶಂಕರ ಇನ್ ಇಸ್ ಬುಕ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಪ್ರಬೋಧ ಸುಧಾಕರ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬುಕ್ ಮೂರ್ತಮ್ ಅಮೂರ್ತಮ್ ಸಗುಣ ಅಂಡ್ ನಿರ್ಗುಣ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬುಕ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಬುಕ್ ಐ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಈಸಿಯರ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಟು ಸಗುಣ ಉಪಾಸನ ವೈ ಯು ಸ್ಟ್ರಗಲ್ ವಿತ್ ನಿರ್ಗುಣ ಪದ ಹೂ ಶಂಕರ ದಿ ಅದ್ವೈತಿಕ್ ಚಾಂಪಿಯನ್ ಸೇಜ್ ಇಫ್ ದೋಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಫ್ಯಾನ್ಸಿ ದೆಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ನಿರ್ಗುಣ ಉಪಾಸಕ ಲೆಟ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸಫರ್ ಇ ಸೇಜ್ ಗೋತ್ರು ಸಗುಣ ಉಪಾಸನ ಶಂಕರ ಸೇಜ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರಬೋಧ ಸುಧಾಕರ್ same book he takes here only comes the two topics murtam and amurtam form and formless right but what is the beauty in brudarni kokishya he realizes the average man needs saguna upasana and gives you that and gives you that but doesn't allow you to get stuck there without ever knowing like you know you put medicine in plant in and give to your child at every stage he immediately tells you this is finite that rests on the infinite so why you compromise ashra he said elaborately then he said the yoni the womb of the sarshvai samudra brahman samudra there is brahman and the support from this bandhu samudra why you are going for all the unnecessary prajapati and all that he himself is insecure his time is in, that's what katha upanishad yamadar maharaj says i was a fool tells nachiketa i came to this path karma mukti upasana doing this upasana get stuck here you are intelligent because this boy says when uh, yamadharma says i will give you this boon that boon don't ask me for nana he says shobhava martyasya yadantaka yadantaka etat sarvam jeevitam alpam eva jareyanti teja tavai vavaha tavan ritya geete you keep all of them what you are promising you may need i don't need right you may need them i don't need so here also he gives elaborately saguna upasana upasana what is saguna upasana normally what do you do you go to temples at home you do pujas you don't know anything more than that you do not know anything more than that. through that what will happen yes you will get little things what you are asking but all that you are asking through those pujas upasana because you have no knowledge are all finite he gives but they are all finite what they can do maximum maintain the tradition through this upasanas and pujas that maintaining the tradition is called pitruloka that's called santati san means continuing santati that means makes the tradition continue pitruloka then some people don't know that or they think they are greater the moment they come to a vedanta teacher sir can you teach me meditation they have not read any book they have not heard anything can you teach me meditation because they have heard meditation is the highest right and these people they try to do meditate sorry meditate right and because they are concentrating focusing withdrawing from multiplicity they definitely develop certain subtle instincts subtle joys those subtle joys are called swarga loka only karma pitru loka only meditation 
Swargaloka. Loka. So what do the teachers say? No. Through karma purify yourself, through meditation, not merely concentration, through contemplation, through contemplation, what is Krishna? Blue. Blue is infinite. Pitambara, yellow. Infinite clad in matter. Like that, contemplate. When you contemplate and do karma, through karma you are purified, through contemplation you elevate yourself, you reach a state of Hiranyagarbha. Kramamukti. This is called Kramamukti. So, three. Pitruloka, Vargaloka, Brahmaloka. Right? And these are all involving action, time. They are all involving action and time. Nana, no time, no action. Immediate. As you teach, if you are fit enough, you will get it. The Chanamurti showed this. Sanat Kumar has understood, I am not the body, I am not the mind, I am not the intellect, I am the Atman. Right? They have understood. Shweta Keto, Tattva Masi, he told, he has understood. Right? So that's the last. So, Bhruhudara and Upanishad, integrates this Saguna Pasana and Nirguna Pasana in a beautiful way. He elaborately gives you the Saguna Pasana so that you can do it. And also cautions you at every stage. It's still finite. Go for the infinite knowledge. Integrates both simultaneously. That's technique I have not seen in any Upanishad. Katha Upanishad also, Yamadharma Raja explains Nachiketas and all that, drops and suddenly goes to knowledge, various upasanas. Right? But here, he blends them beautifully. What is Saguna Upasana? Its limitations, its goal, why it's needed, what is higher than that, knowledge, how it is got. All that he blends. All that he blends. So we saw in Ashwamedha how he gives everything and says, better go to Brahman because that is the womb from which this Ashwa has come. That is the Bandhu. Now next is Agni Brahmana. Here is an authority on Agni. Right? Shankar Nagarajan. He came to mission only as a Rigvedic scholar, Riset. Right? Rigveda is starts with Agni. You know, one information for all of you. Today, all of us are having this communication gadgets and all that. The first communication gadget was gramophone. Was gramophone. And that was HMB. His master's voice. So, the HMV man who invented, because at that time in the West, Max Muller was famous for knowledge. So, he asked him, I want something from you to be recorded first. The first ever recorded message. And Max Muller started with Agni Mide. Agni Mide from Rugveda. So ever first ever record, recorded message all over the world is Agni Mile Rukveda. Mile Mide Ladayor Abhedaha. Ide means worship. Agni Mile, I worship. Right? And keeping a champion on Agni. I should not talk much. So, so say a few things. Huh? Okay. So that is the Agni Upasana. 
in the second thing. Now I will take that Brahmana, Agni Brahmana. He said, one, two. Sri Shankaracharya, even by mistake, we should not just say Shankaracharya. He is God. Without him, we are not there. Sri Shankaracharya connects some of the various things. He says the Ashramedha Yaga is Yaga, but one one. In the Yaga, what is important is fire. So I am now taking the fire. I am now taking the fire. So that is the, this is called Agni Brahmana. That is, Bhruda Upanishad is divided into three kandas. Madhu Kanda, Yagna Valkya or Muni Kanda. The last Kela Kanda, first is Upadesha, Srivana. Next is Manana, Upapatti. The last is Upasana, Kela Kanda. Nididhyasa. Shavana Manana Nididhyasa. So, he, he tries to connect these various topics also here. The first was Ashwamedha. Next, for any ritual you need, fire. So, Agni Brahmana he takes. Na eva iha kinchit. Agra Asit. In the beginning, there was nothing. In the beginning, there was nothing. Mrutyuna Eva, Yidam Avrutam Asit. This was covered by death. This was covered by death. Ashanaya, 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 he Mrutyuhu. And hunger, death and hunger. And he immediately says they are not two different things. Hunger is death, death is hunger. Tan Mano Akuruta Atman Vi Syamati. He decided, he decided, let me have a mind. What do we do? We accept everything, take that. Statement, don't question. We don't question, we don't contemplate. Because we have Shraddha, it's okay. But that doesn't help. You have to inquire. With what did he think? I will have a mind. To think what I have a mind, he should have had a mind. With what did he think I will have a mind? Because the fundamental mind. The fundamentals of everything is in Brahman. Brahman, when he wants to express, first identifies with his own potentials, not matter, potentials. It's called Mula Prakriti, his own nature. Mula means cause, causal nature, and becomes Ishwara, the one who wills. So that's a rudimentary willing. He does not go into details. He just willed, I want to create. And then he thought, if I want to create, I cannot do because I am too truthful. This pseudo entity, this false fellow, the mind alone can do. He can only show what is not there as if it is there. Agatita kalgatana pateyasi maya. Maya, mind, all are same. Bhagavatam says this. Maya Mano Mayam. Maya is mind. Maya is Vidya. So to bring plurality that is not there, you need a special instrument that is mind. So he said, now I want to multiply, let me have a mind. Right? After finish, I will take the first line because first line needs a lot of explanation. Let me finish this at least. To certain extent. Sa Archan Acharate Tasya Archataha 
आपो अजायंता अर्चते वै में कम भूदिति तदेव कमस्य अर्कत्वम कम फवा तस्मे भवति स एव मेतद अर्कस्य अर्कत्वम दैट इज ही वांटेड टू क्रिएट सो ही स्टार्टेड इनवोकिंग हिमसेल्फ बिकॉज ही अलोन इज देयर and as he invoking himself that's it he is worshiping himself from that comes water right what does it mean water alone came straight it is involved it is implied water is the fourth element the other three elements came earlier space akasha agni then comes water and since he is well contemplating archana kam comes archana kam it becomes arka arka is the fire again you should ask you say fire has come before this water and now you say after this water comes fire they are all the subtle potential tanma plus after that comes the manifest fire the manifest fire now the manifest fire itself these other three elements cannot bring visible tangible world it needs gross forms so what did he do through the form in the water and this fire solidified with this energy solidified and became air and became yeah that air from that air comes all forms and that hiranyagarbha with that air becomes virata he becomes virata purusha because he has all the physical forms he has all the physical forms that is virata and since it has come with arjuna it's called arka and since water gives us happiness it's called kam kam means happiness na kam swarga is called kam happiness akam no happiness na akam there is no no happiness that means what in swarga there is no happiness you only have a state where there is no unhappiness nahakam so kam is happiness one who knows this he says palasruti gets whatever you contemplate that you get you contemplate on kam happiness you get that the palasruti he says now i told you i will have to explain the first two things na evaha kinchit na agrasi there was nothing before and after a few chapters in the fourth itself brahma eva idam agra asi brahma alone was there in the beginning is too much of fooling us you know here he says there was nothing before and there it says brahma eva idam agra asi i am eva idam agra asam i alone was there in the beginning that will also come brahma alone was there in the beginning so deva idamakra ase only truth was there in the beginning all contradictions here he says there is nothing how do you reconcile all spiritual topics any subtle topic is full of uh, paradoxes once you resolve the paradoxes you strike at the truth you strike at the truth when he says here there was nothing before means no thing no thing there is no objects there are only potential things in the water potential wave potential bubble potential ocean is there but in water in the beginning there is neither a wave nor a bubble 
nor emotion. So the water says, in the beginning there was nothing in me. Nothing. Means in the beginning, this differentiated world of names and forms were not there in Brahman. They were all undifferentiated. Like when you sleep, there is no dream world, differentiate a dream world. They were all in you, undifferentiated when you sleep. When you dream, they, they manifest. So that's the meaning here. He says, there was nothing before. And later he says, Brahma alone was there. That is, there is, there is no differentiated world. Brahma was there, he is non-differentiated. And what is that Brahman? Ahameva is the Makrasi. I alone was that Brahman. I alone is that Brahman. You understand? So that is the first sentence. Next he says, this was covered by death and hunger. And death is hunger. What do you mean by that? You say nothing was there. Okay, no objects were there. You say death was there. It covered them. Hunger covered them. No. The principles of death and hunger, because Bhagavan has everything in him, the principles of hunger and death are the raw products, the causal forms, for the effects of the world to come. Because death of the previous condition is the birth of the present condition. So without death, there cannot be creation. So if creation has to start, the principle of death should be there. The principle of death should be there. Therefore, this was covered with death. Covered with, should not literally take you have to understand sympathetically what it means. Covered means potentially all these names and forms in Bhagavan, when they have to come out, they are subject to change, which is called death. Which is called death. And then if, when they come out, if they want to, if the world has to grow, multiply, there has to be hunger. No hunger, world won't grow. You have hunger for new, new developments, world grows. You have hunger for new, new tunes, music grows. You have hunger for new, new forms of art, it grows. You have hunger for different tastes, it grows. Thai cushion, Korean cushion, Italian cushion. You want all of them. And nothing you like, but you like you like to go there. You like only there is the ultimate. <laughs> right? Hunger has to be there for growth. So Bhagavan has these two principles for creation, death and hunger. And he says, in fact, they are not different. If there is no hunger, there is no productivity, there is no development, there is stagnation, it is death. It is death. So hunger and death are not two different things. Also, Sri Shankara gives it, when you are hungry, you kill a lot of things animals and all that. Therefore, hunger and death are same. It's not merely kill the animals. Whatever food you are eating has life in it. So, when you eat for your hunger, for you to survive, you are killing many things. They, they go together. It's a package. That is why, to ward off the sin, you say, Brahm, Brahmarpanam, Brahmahavihi, Brahmagno, Brahmanahutam, Brahmaiva Dena Gantavyam, Brahma Karma Samad. So now the very first sloka, mantra here, gives us how the creation gradually progresses. First, Tanmatras, then grassified fire, then fire and water, earth, 
then the various forms creation right and what there are the, in between totally seven slokas he is explaining so much for what for us to do upasana as to what hiranagarbha to do what hiranagarbha itself to be sacrificed that's why ashwamedha he teaches and finally he says that sacrifice of doing animals is for gods because gods when you do prana pratishta they have hunger that's why every temple if they have done prana pratishta three times bali pradhan because they have hunger if they don't feed them they will eat you in the form of aids plague what is the latest covid you have to feed them you understand so for them you give the sacrifices for the gods why you have to give them again it says here you don't give them they starve so what they do is you have to give them you know why will you give without uh, gaining something so gods grant whatever you want so that you continuously give them bali they are counting like a man who counts his sheep all this comes here not my words the man who has 100 sheep every day he counts them like that these gods did he come that man who comes at 5:30 did he come at 6:45 did he come they are also counting because they want your bali like the man who has sheep they also do so you give them but is that all life he says no no these all animals let the people give to these people who need only that but an intelligent man needs something higher so this ashwa he meditates finds this all my mental projection as hiranagarbha itself as man he has now contemplating on hiranagarbha so he knows everything is Men, mental and what you contemplate that you become and you have become here in agarpa so everything has become in you and now you have conquered death because you are yourself the death you are yourself the death as here in agarpa and then what you discovered everything is you so the plurality the multiplicity the mind gets dissolved in you that is the ashramayada you should you should look for not these balis not these balis that is the second chapter let me apova arkaha tad yad ap apam ಶಾಂತಸ್ಯಪ್ತಸ್ಯೋರಸೋರ್ಜಿಸ್ಟ್ರಮ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಮ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಮ್ಸ್ಟ್
your own self, Adhyatma. You need these three. So this Virata Purusha divided himself into three. The sun, the air, prana and the fire. Sun, Adhidaivika. Fire, form, Adhibhautika. Prana in you, Adhyatmika. Virata Purusha divided himself into three. And he desired, so Akamyata, Diti Yoga, Atma Jaya Deti, Samanasa, Vacha, Midhana, Samabhavati, Ashnaya, Vrityahu, Tatcha, Tatcha, Dresa, Asitsa, Samvatsaro, Bhavat. He then, he, he now has a form, he has also limit, feeling of limited. When you have a form, you are finite. He wanted a company. Let me have a wife because I should not be free from after all happiness is not the only goal of life so let me get married right tasmat asitsa samvatsaro abhavat and then for uh, this creation of various things brought about the union of vedas with the mind creation starts with vedas the knowledge and the mind. The knowledge is called Vedas. The mind is its capacity to diversify, to make things many and make them appear when they are not there. He does that. And, and the seed of this world, see how beautiful it is, how scientific. The seed of this year, world is one year. Means what? The seed of the entire world is time. Is time. Time and space are the things that bring about the multiplicity. You can verify any science books, they will confirm that. You want to create from one, you have to make two. There should be space for it to move. Space should be there. And the action in its time. Time and space are the first essentials for any creation. Even to cut and something moves. So one year that became the seed. He protected that for one year. He protected that seed for one year. What is great in that? The seed in the mother's womb fructifies after one year. You think nine months and nine days. That's what you know. But it said it takes one year. It takes one year. And after that projected him. And when he the one year is over, the child comes out. See, the moment it comes out, any child like that. If the child doesn't cry, others surround start crying. The child, when it comes, start crying. He said, Ha! He said, Ha! This is called Sporta Vada, the Big Bang theory. The Big Bang theory, Sporta Vada, sound. Right? It started coming out. This man is hungry because he is death and hunger. He wanted to eat it all because Till now he had nothing. Then he became little enter. I eat this off. I eat this off. Thereafter, next meal, what I will do? So I should not eat it. I should create more and more. After creating a lot of things, I will eat. I will eat. So he started creating. And how does he create? Same thing. Speech and mind and Vedas. And he, through them came the Yajur Veda, Sama Veda, Rup Veda, etc. And whatever he projected, the outside world, he started eating them. That is why, and what he ate, what came from him, what he ate, what came from him, and what he ate becomes him. So this is called Annam, food for him to eat. And the same Annam is Atti, 
the one who eats. The whole world is nothing but annam and atti. The food and the eater of the food. And then he wanted to create more, so he thought of doing again sacrifice, Prajapati, this thing that gives him power to create. He starts creating and then when he creates, then when he creates, a lot of things come, then sacrificing the uh, other animals for gods and this Ashra, he sacrifices to himself. Sacrifice, two sacrifices, sacrificing to God and sacrificing to himself. Sacrificing to God is physical. All animals we do. Sacrificing to oneself is through meditation. Absorb the object into you because you discover through meditation that me only, the object and the subject become one. The object and the subject become one. So that is offering to yourself. So that is the second chapter. In the third chapter, First chapter, he gave us the broad outline of Ashramedha. In the second chapter, he gives us how creation starts. In the third, he takes Vayu, Prana. How that Prana is Hiranyagarbha, Virat, how it coordinates our life, how that should be held on by us, how to do the Upasana. In the first chapter, in the second chapter, Ashwa and fire, he only gave broad outlines, but not details of Upasana. In the third chapter, the Prana Upasana, he gives us why, where, of, how of the Upasana, completely Prana Upasana. That is the third chapter with next week. Purnamada, Purnamidam, Purnat, Purnamudachate, Purnasya, Purnamavaya, Purnameva, Vasishate, Boom Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Hari Hivum, Sri Guru Bhu Namaha, Hari Hivum. Thank you all. God bless you all. Thank you, Uncle Hari. Om Hari Om. Om Shri Chinmaya Satgurave.